welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to get into the new palettes that Charlotte Tilbury just launched. These are her Eyes of a Star palettes. These just launched on the Charlotte Tilbury website last week and I ordered them the day they launched, but I didn't end up getting them until after Christmas. I just got them yesterday. When I opened up these palettes, I was like, wait, these feel lighter than her original quads. This only has 2.8 grams, which is 0 0.09 ounces. Uh, so it's much lighter. It's almost half the product as her original traditional four pan quad palette. So their original quads, they have 5.2 grams which is 0.18 ounces. They are $10.19 per gram. This palette is $18.93 per gram. So it's almost double the price for per gram for these new palettes than her original quads. Just so that you guys know the price breakdown and what you're paying when you buy these. So you're in the video, I create a look with each one of these palettes. I have the Star Aurora on this side and I have the diva lights on this side i share with you guys my thoughts on them and also do some comparisons i only found a few products in my collection that resemble kind of the same texture and the same color story so i will get into that later on in the swatches now these are inspired by her hollywood falls filter and if you guys have been with me for a while you will know that the hollywood falls filter is one of my top favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury. It's so, so beautiful on the skin. So she launched a few extra shades. So up here on the screen are the new shades that she has launched, which I was excited because the shade tan, which is five, I felt was a little bit too dark for me in the winter. I wear this in the summer, but I felt like it was a little bit too dark for me in the winter. So she launched the shade four and a half, which I think is perfect for my skin, especially right now. I know that these have been around for a while, but in the video, I show you my favorite way to wear the Hollywood Falls filter and also giving you other ways that you can wear them. I've been using the Hollywood Falls filter for a really long time. This is one fluid ounce, which is 30 mils, and these retail for $44. I will say these bottles last me a long, long time. I'm almost out of the shade five, uh, I'm kind of starting to have to skim the sides. Very, very good quality product that does last a really long time. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. It's all about Miss Charlotte Tilbury. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the application and application suggestions and recommendations of using the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And then we will jump into the eyeshadow tutorials using both of the palettes. Then we'll get into the swatches. And then of course, I will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. So let's first jump into the Hollywood Flawless Filter. As you guys have heard me say a million times, this is my favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury. Although the airbrush powder, I think they're tied. I love these both equally. This is a beautiful special product. There are several ways that you can use this. I have it in now three shades, which I will definitely throw up some swatches for you guys so you guys can see what the shades are. I originally had shade tan that I would use, but I always felt like tan was just a little bit too dark, but four was a little bit too light. So this four and a half, I think is going to be perfect for me, which I'm super excited. So first I'm gonna prep my skin. I'm going to go ahead and put on the Magic Cream, which has become one of my favorite bases for foundation. Now, like I said, there's several ways that you can apply the Flawless Filter. I personally like to apply it underneath my foundation but I like putting something moisturizing on such as the magic cream or uh, any type of primer that you have that's hydrating. Anything that's got a little bit of moisture will just allow this to spread over top of it very evenly. So I like to give it a good shake and what I do is I basically just put some all over the face kind of wiping the applicator off and I blend that all over kind of avoiding some of the pores. So if you have enlarged pores, I would avoid applying that in those areas because it is kind of a highlighter and it just gives the skin such a beautiful glow from within, especially when you go over top of it with foundation. It's absolutely beautiful. Now it blends out very evenly and you can see that that just gave my skin 
just a beautiful glow. It doesn't have like a metallic finish. It like awakens the skin. It's so, so pretty. So this is my preferred way of using this. However, you can mix this with your foundation. So I will take one of my favorite foundations, especially if you have like a soft matte foundation or a matte, it just brings it just to life. Like it makes the matte foundation look that much better. So I love mixing this with foundation as well. And what I'll do is I'll just take, you know, a pump or two of the foundation and then I will take uh, some off of the doe foot and kind of put it down in there and then just mix it together. That works beautifully too. I like to apply it underneath my foundation, but I have mixed it with my foundations several times. And let me say, every single time I wear the Hollywood Falls filter, I just love the way that my makeup looks. It just has such a glow from within. Okay, so now that I have the face makeup on, let's jump in to the other way that you can use the Hollywood Falls filter. So you can use this just as a soft highlight. Like I said, this is not super metallic-y. Uh, so this is not a very strong highlight. If you're looking for a stronger liquid highlight, then I recommend the Beauty Light Wands. I have them in the shade Goldgasm and Spotlight. And they are a little bit more reflective, a little bit more uh, like a highlighter. This is just very, very soft on the skin. I'm just gonna place some right here on the back of my hand, just like that. And then I'm just gonna take my finger, kind of rub into the product and uh, place it right here on the side of my face, just like where you're wanting the highlight. And then I will go in with a sponge and blend it in. So it does give a little bit of that soft highlight. So I'm gonna put some here. I don't really look like I have a lot of highlight on the skin, but you can see the glow underneath my foundation. Like especially right here, you can just see the glow from the Hollywood Falls filter kind of coming through the foundation. Same thing will happen if you mix it in with your foundation. It just depends on how you prefer to wear it. I think wearing it under foundation, you're gonna get the same results as you would mixing it into your foundation. I just find it's easier to put it on first. And then there are some times where if I'm not gonna wear makeup and I want a little bit of something on my skin, I will go ahead and put this all over the face and it looks really beautiful. Let's go ahead and jump into the two tutorials using the quads. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into these new palettes. Now, before I do, I wanted to mention that when I ordered on the Charlotte Tilbury website, if you ordered over $100, you would receive this, which is the Pillow Talk Diamonds. It's a glossy starlit sparkling lip, and I put it on, and it's beautiful. It's what I'm wearing right now with no lip liners, just by itself. It's so, so pretty. It does have a very beautiful shimmer and also a beautiful color. So I like this. I really, really like this. I hope this is a limited edition because uh, this is very pretty. And this palette is the Star Aurora palette. And as you can see, it has the embossing inside of it and it's very light and very pretty. And then this one is called the Diva Lights. And this one is more probably night light, you know, like date night type of look. It has this really pretty copper color up here and then this is like a blue black. I swatched it and it's definitely a very soft formula. Um, kind of something similar to this uh, Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette, this one right here. It's kind of giving me that vibe where it's very soft in texture. It has a little bit of a soft shimmer uh, more of a satin shimmer, not really, I wouldn't say metallic. That's the top shade of this palette, uh, this shade right here. And you can kind of see that it has a little bit of reflection, but not, not like her normal shadows. I'm going to do each palette on each eye. So let's start with this palette. I'm going to take a brush and go into this top shade. It's kind of that copper shade. 
I might need to use a finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the refer number two brush. I'm going to bring this into the crease. I'm gonna wipe off the refer number two and I'm gonna go into this shade right here on the bottom, that darker brown color. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner. So the dark color's kind of faded as I've blended it, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and kind of bring it right into the outer corner to kind of get a little bit of depth. So that dark color doesn't give a lot of definition. It's a pretty color, but uh, it definitely doesn't build over top of that color of the copper color like very color. deep. I'm gonna like, use the BK Beauty 204 smudge brush and I'm gonna go into this dark brown and I'm gonna bring this on the lower lash line but I'm not gonna tap off so I'm keeping what's on the brush and putting it directly on the eye. And that worked a little bit better. I'm gonna take my flat definer from Sonia G and I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray. So I have it here with that dark brown and I'm gonna place this right at the lash line. And let's go into this blue black and see what we can get from it but to control the fallout i am gonna i am gonna spray it so i've got it here on this tiny brush this is actually the sigma e21 smudge brush kind of want to create a wing with this color but i'm the worst at doing wings so fyi So I did get some fallout right here, which I'll have to fix with some concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up off camera, but I am gonna go into this light shade right here, but place that on the inner corner. So like right here. And then I'm gonna kind of bring it up into the gold or copper, I guess is what it is. I'm gonna add some of that up there on the brow bone as well, like right here. Okay, so this is the final look. I just went ahead and threw on some mascara and I don't mind the way this eyeshadow look turned out. I don't really feel like there's enough dimension between these two. Like this shade just really isn't dark enough to deepen the copper color. They're almost uh, the same level of tone, if you will, even though this looks darker, but when you put it over top of this, it doesn't really deepen. So just keep that in mind. If you're wanting to use that darker shade, you're probably gonna have to pack it on quite a bit. I had issues with my mascara. I was using the uh, Charlotte Tilbury pushed up mascara and I just made a freaking mess. It just got too thick and then it was like separating my eyelashes and I was just having a really hard time. So I had to put on just a few individuals right here to kind of like bring the gaps together. That's it for this palette. Let's go ahead and move on to the Star Aurora palette. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow look using the Star Aurora palette. The thing that I will say right off the bat, there is absolutely no dimension in this palette. Uh, so my biggest concern with this palette is that all of the shades are going to look the same on my skin. Uh, there's just not enough dimension in here. The shades are pretty, but I don't know that there's enough dimension to, to use it all on its own. If you're going to get this palette, I would recommend in, you know, using it in conjunction with, uh, other mattes that you have in your collection, uh, because I, I just, there's just no dimension. Uh, first things first, we're going to grab this really pretty pink shade up here on the top and let's just go ahead and put that on the lid. I'm going to go in with the Sonia G flat definer. Yeah. The, this type of formula is definitely best applied with a finger. Like trying to use a brush just really isn't going to cut it. There we go. Now we're getting some color. Now that's a very soft color, almost like you have something on, but you don't. You can barely see it. It doesn't have a lot of shimmer. It's got just a tiny bit. It's more of a satin shimmer. Let's go in with this shade right here on the bottom corner. Okay, so that one has a little bit more dimension in the color and the shade. So I'm going to grab this shade right here on a like a fluffy blending brush it's going to kind of gently kind of sweep this into the crease Okay, so it's got some color, but it's very, very light. It's definitely what it reminds me of is exactly what the name is. That's the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So for example, when I put the Hollywood Flawless Filter on the skin, it will highlight the skin, but in a very, very soft way. That's exactly how that formula is. It blends right into the eye and it gives the illusion of a shine, but without really, uh, without looking like you're wearing eyeshadow. It's kind of the vibes that this is giving me. And I'm gonna grab this shade right here. I wanna see if this will deepen the outer corner. So I'm gonna really load the brush up with this shade and I'm just gonna bring that like right here on this outer corner. Now let's go into this first shade right here and we're going to bring that right here on the inner corner. This is the final look with the Star Aurora palette and I think this look is just very soft every day. Zero dimension and like I told you there's really not a lot of differences between the shades except for the first shade in the palette. Uh, it does really open up the eye right there in the inner corner. Uh, but there's not a lot of dimension, so just keep that in mind. I will get into my full thoughts in a minute, uh, but for now, let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparisons of these palettes next to some of the other palettes that I have in my collection, and then I will jump into my final thoughts.
Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. Let's first talk about the Harlem Falls filter. That shade four and a half is perfect for me and I'm so happy I was able to get it. And that product definitely needed more shades in the range. So I think that was a very good idea for them to do, uh, releasing more shades kind of in between shades. So props to them for uh, expanding that shade range in such a good quality product. Now let's talk about the palettes. First of all, just based on cost alone, these are definitely not worth the price. These are not worth $18.93 per gram, bottom line. It, they're just not. That would have to be a very, very special, special formula to be worth that price point. For example, you know, I did compare uh, one of the palettes to this palette from Tom Ford. This is the First Frost palette. The Tom Ford palettes retail for $88. They are $14.66 per gram. So when I got this palette, I was like, wait, there are some similarities. So I wanted to kind of compare them and you will see that they're very comparable in the shades. Now, if you take the money out of it, you still get way more impact and the the uh, wet dry formula from Tom Ford is much more beautiful on the eye than this new formula from Charlotte Tilbury. Now I know that this is like a limited edition thing and based on our experience with the Fire and Rose, um, you know, once, once it was gone, it was gone. But these palettes don't really have a lot of impact. So you notice that in the application. With that said, there are people out there that will love this. If you have a maturing eye and you have started to experience those wrinkles right there in the brow bone, we're all gonna get them. It's inevitable. It is what it is. Embrace it because it's beautiful no matter what. But if you have started to get the wrinkles into the brow bone and onto the eyelid, I would recommend this palette for those of you out there that have that because I do feel like these are very beautiful and soft on wrinkles. It gives you that illusion of uh, a very satin soft shimmer. And I don't feel like this formula will ever exaggerate wrinkles or texture or anything like that on and on your eyelids. They're so lightweight that you don't really feel like you have anything on and they're very beautiful, but I don't feel like everybody's gonna love this formula because I think if you're somebody that likes the traditional formula from Charlotte Tilbury that has a lot of impact and a lot of shine, these do not have that, as you can see. If you like that very soft kind of satin type of look, the eyes to mesmerize are beautiful. I have it in six shades. I love this formula. So this, the new formula in these quads remind me of the eyes to mesmerize. They're very light and kind of satin on the eye and they blend out really easily with a finger, um, but they're very lightweight. And if you like the look of the eyes to mesmerize, but you've had a hard time getting them to not crease, then you might really like this. But for me, I would much rather use the eyes to mesmerize. I feel like I get the same type of impact on the eye and the same kind of effortless, uh, just beautiful, soft eyeshadow look uh, without having to pay that much for it because it, that is just a really, really expensive price point. Now, I think this eyeshadow look is very beautiful and it kind of gives you the vibe of is she wearing makeup or is she not? It's a very natural, natural look, but emphasizes the natural beauty. That's what the Hollywood Flawless Filter is. Gives the illusion of that glow from within. These palettes have that glow from within, but I would say more so the Star Aurora. The Star Aurora gives me that vibe. I personally do not like the Diva Lights palette. If I was gonna pick, even though there's no dimension in the um, Star Aurora palette, I still prefer it over the Diva Lights. The Star Aurora palette would be very beautiful even if you wanted to grab a matte with it and kind of deepen it up because there really isn't a lot of dimension in this palette. In fact, I really thought that I wouldn't like this palette, but I do like this one over the Diva Lights. If you're looking at these thinking they are similar to her original and other formulas that she has, these are completely different. So I think you just have to decide 
what type of person you are, what kind of makeup wear you are, what you like and what you don't like, and then decide if these are worth almost $19 a gram because these are very, very pricey. But on a personal level, if I was watching this, I wouldn't buy these because they're just too expensive for what they are. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Then that will determine if the price point on these are worth it. But if you, if that's what you love about the Bejeweled palette or Charlotte Tilbury's uh, quads in particular, is that they have a very beautiful shine to them, then these are definitely going to be a pass. I so those are my thoughts on these palettes. I hope that this review was helpful. Sound off down below. Let us know if you guys have got these palettes and how you feel about them. Because again, this is just my personal opinion and your opinion and sharing in the comment section is just as important, it's just as helpful as someone coming on behind the camera and talking about them. So sound off down below and let us know how you guys are feeling about them. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.